Hey guys, CBP Man here, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live and compare them to the Bose Quiet Comfort. We're gonna do an EBP Man style audio test, call quality test, and we'll also compare some of the features as well as the capabilities. So let's get right to it. Now, the first thing we're going to take a look at is the case itself. And as we take a look at the cases, there's no argument that the Galaxy Buds Live really take it when it comes to portability. The Bose are just ginormous in size. Both of these are going to support wireless charging. Both of these are intelligent cases that are going to show up on your phone. So you're going to be able to see the battery life. And they're also part of the upgrade process. You'll notice that both of these have USB-C in the back and both of them support wireless charging. Both of these cases are pretty reliable, right? You're not going to have anything fall out of this guy here. It has a little latch too. And your earbuds are also pretty reliable. You have a pairing uh, button here. They lock into place and you don't really have to worry about them coming out. The Samsung Galaxy uh, Buds Live, uh, while they have, again, this protective case from Spigen, uh, they also have a little LED in the inside. Uh, has kind of like this little form uh, fitting type lock to it. So as you flip these over, they're not going to come out. And they also kind of uh, lock into place really nicely. And the magnet is pretty strong. So you're going to have a very secure fit. Now from a battery life, these two products are somewhat similar, but also a little different. Um, as we take a look at the Bose here, the Bose is going to give you seven hours of battery life on average use. Um, and it's going to vary based on if you have active noise canceling on or not. Uh, as we look at the Live, the Live is going to give you anywhere from five to eight hours. And the same thing is going to be true. It depends on if you have active noise canceling or not. But let's just answer one big question. Who has the best active noise canceling? Well, hands down, it's going to be the Bose because the Bose has an ear-in-ear -ear model, and you're going to see this in a second, that gives you both a passive uh, no seal, so you have good passive noise canceling, but the uh, the beans are actually on your ear. So they're not in-ear, but they're on it. So as you put them in, you do have a gap that allows a lot of ambient noise in. So the noise canceling is never going to be to the same level. Now, even though you have you know, anywhere from five to eight and seven hours here. Uh, when we take a look at the cases, you're gonna get 19 hours of battery life using this case. You're gonna get 29 hours, you heard that right, 29 hours of usage with the Beans or the, the Buds Live. So fantastic battery life, which is very superior to what you have on the Bose. Also five minutes on this guy right here is gonna give you an hour, 15 minutes here is gonna give you two hours. Now, from a Bluetooth perspective, you're looking at Bluetooth 5.0 versus Bluetooth 5.1, but you're not going to have any out of sync conditions. You're not going to have any problems. Actually, even this one here, the Buds Live has a uh, game mode that really uh, focuses on reducing latency when you're playing games. But I haven't seen any issues with either one of these, either in distance or out of sync conditions. Uh, you do have also auto pause on both. So if you take them out, they'll pause the music. Uh, no transparency mode on the Live because, again, they have that on ear model versus uh, these that go in ear. So these do have transparency mode and when it comes to ip ratings both of them you can use them in the gym ipx2 versus ipx4 ios and android right support uh, but once again the passive noise canceling on this one is going to be superior because of the overall fit versus this one but both have that active noise canceling but once again uh, this is going to be better because of the combination of both passive and active noise canceling now taking a look at the earbuds this is where the designs are really really different we'll take these out so that you can see uh, what they look like uh, they are uh, very different. But one of the things where I would say the beans crush the bows is that you could use these independently. So I can have one in one ear and it doesn't matter which one, right or left, and it's going to work. This one, I can only have the right one in my ear on its own. Uh, so when you think about extending battery life, uh, you're really going to get a lot more battery life if you're only going to use one earbud at a time. And this is something that I do quite often, especially when I'm doing Zoom or if I'm doing uh, Google Meet or any type of webcasting now that a lot of us are doing. Uh, from a look perspective, you can see that the earbuds themselves um, have contact points. They're very similar when it comes to like just the overall charging technology, but from a design, very different. This is much heavier. And also I would say that a lot of you who've been watching these videos have been telling me that over time, because of the weight distribution, that these actually feel heavier, right? They're not as comfortable. So I'm gonna show you how these go in. So this is, you put it in and you twist. And this one, you put it in and you twist, right? But this one, it, it really, you can use this for a very long time. Um, no stress, no fatigue. These over time, because of this design and this weight, the way the weight is distributed, it kind of, the weight here, um, I've had many of you complain about that. But let's go right, 
and left so you can see what they look like. And again, the design is really, really different. So next let's talk about overall audio quality. Now let me tell you how I tested these and we're gonna have an EB Human style audio test where if you wear some headphones, you'll be able to listen to how these both reproduce the same songs. Uh, but the test that I did personally, in addition to listening to those tracks, is I did this. I was on Spotify and I had the earbuds connected to two different phones, right and left, and basically switched from phone to phone just to get what my experience was. And I listened to several tracks. I have several tracks that I was listening to here. The last one that I was checking out was Midnight Blues because uh, it has some really nice bass and it has some really nice highs there. And what I can say is that uh, despite the fact that you have an in-ear model here, which is going to give you a better seal uh, versus the live here that are resting on your ear and you do hear a lot of ambient noise, uh, the sound stage on these is much better. Um, I felt, especially when we were talking about the basses, um, it's basically a wider sound stage. So it was very similar to, let's say, being in a room listening to music versus being in a theater listening to music. Basically, it just felt like it was more immersive uh, the way just the overall music experience was, which is frankly was a surprise to me. Uh, with the bows, it just felt narrower. And again, having one playing the same song on the right, playing the same song on the left, switching back and forth, between you know, a couple seconds um, back and forth using Spotify, this is how I was able to pick up that big difference. Uh, felt that also bass mids and highs, just in my opinion, are a little bit better on this side versus what I'm getting for the Bose, which is something that surprises me, right? Because re really, you know, you have Sennheiser, which is all at the top, you have Sony, uh, then I would come down maybe to the Bose lineup, and then I would put uh, the Sennheiser, or not the Sennheiser, I'm sorry, the Buds Live or just Samsung line would come somewhere after those. But to see, in my opinion, these outrank these from an audio perspective surprises me also with the the fact that you have this in-ear model. So uh, when you hear these tracks, let me know what you think about it, but that's just my impression of the audio. And So check out these tracks so you can hear what they sound like. I've been feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive it's just what I do when I'm so shy. Said you needed a break and left with no heads out. I was strong for your sake, but it made my heart drown Cause it's always been you and I Give me one more try, this is messing with my mind Now we're doing a call quality test of the Bose Quiet Comfort in a quiet environment. Check a look at our decibel readings. Anywhere from 22 to 28 decibels in noise. Let's go ahead and switch. Uh, this is what the call quality would sound like when making a phone call on the Quiet Comfort earbuds in a quiet environment. This is a test. One, two, three. This is a test. This is what the Bose Quiet Comfort sound like in a quiet environment. Next, let's go into a noisy one. Now we're in a much noisier environment and as you can look at our decibel ratings, anywhere from 40 all the way up to 78 decibels of noise. What we're going to do is we're going to switch to the Bose Quiet Comfort. We're going to stay quiet to see how much noise is being eliminated and then we'll go into the call quality test. Let's go to switch. Uh, this is what the Bose Quiet Comfort sound like in a noisy environment. This is a test. One, two, three. This is a test. This is what the Quiet Comfort sound like in a noisy environment. Now we're going to do a call quality test of the Samsung Galaxy Buds live in a quiet environment. And if we take a look at our decibel readings, you can see here that they are anywhere from 20 to 22 decibels in noise. Let's go ahead and switch. Uh, this is what the call quality would sound like when making a phone call on the Samsung Galaxy Buds live in a quiet environment. This is a test. One, two, three. This is a test. Next, we're going to go into a noisy environment. Now we're in a much noisier environment with the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live. And as you can see by our decibel readings, we're looking at anywhere from 30 all the way up to 78, almost 80 decibels in noise. What we're going to do is we're going to switch to the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live. We're going to stay quiet for a bit, and then we'll continue with the vocal test. It's going to switch. 
Now, this is what the call quality will sound like when making a phone call on the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live in a noisy environment. This is a test. One, two, three. This is a test. This is what the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live sound like in a noisy environment. Said you needed a break and left with no heads up. I was strong for your sake, but it made my heart drop. Cause it's always been you and I. Give me one more try. This is messing with my mind. Not gonna lie. But so, guys, that wraps up our comparison review between the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live and the Bose Quiet Comfort. Uh, from an audio perspective, I would say, in my opinion, that these uh, sound better. Uh, from an active noise canceling, these are better. From a call quality perspective, you decide. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.